Before Madame Tussauds became known for its wax A-listers, it specialized in something more gruesome, killers and guillotine victims. Madame Tussauds, born Marie Grosselt, started as a protege for a French wax sculptor. She got so good at wax sculptures, she began teaching King Louis XVI's sister. But when the French Revolution began, Tussauds was accused of supporting the monarchy and imprisoned. The story goes that to save herself and prove her loyalty to the revolution, Tussauds started making death masks of revolutionaries and executed royals like King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. But this origin story gets a little fuzzy. According to National Geographic, there's no evidence beyond Tussauds own claims to suggest she actually made those death masks. In Tussauds memoirs, which are known to be exaggerated or embellished in places, she wrote about sitting with bloody heads on her knees, taking impressions of their features. In later years, Tussauds, now married with children and in need of money, sought to use her artistic skills to provide for her family. She packed up some of her wax figures and launched a touring exhibition around Britain in 1802, which she would continue doing on and off for almost 30 years. Capitalizing on the fame from her tours, Tussauds ultimately opened a museum in London, where she continued to lean into the grisly imagery with her chamber of horrors, displaying murderers and the scenes of their crimes, as well as other notorious criminals, including the heads that reportedly kicked off her career, those of Marie Antoinette and King Louis XVI. The room even contained possessions that criminals left to Tussauds. Toward the end of her life, Tussauds created famous figures of less controversial characters and even got permission to create a precise replica of Queen Victoria for a display commemorating her coronation.